Hi everyone, so for this little DIY, take a little mini box frame like this and just remove the glass and paint the back black. Then take a cheap Halloween skull, um, you can pick these up from like the pound shop, um, order them online, they're very very cheap, uh, they're literally like 50p each sort of price. Um, and then what you can do is stick it in the frame like so so what i'm gonna do first of all i tried um squishing the back um but that was starting to distort the shape of the skull so these are very thin plastic especially at the back so what i did in the end was um after a few times of trying squeezing the back in um i just used my scissors poked a hole in the back and then um, use my scissors to cut the back off the skull. So first of all, just made sure that the back was secured inside the frame. And basically you just remove as much of the back of the skull as you need for the, for the skull to stick out the distance that you want. Obviously that's up to you, depending on what, on what you want. Um, but it is better to have some sort of flat back so it's easier to uh, glue it in position so as you can see I've just poked a hole with the scissors and I'm just cutting through um, I tend to find there's just the little seam at the top's a bit thick um, so it requires a bit more effort to cut through but the rest of it will cut through really easy um, obviously this has been previously painted and used for another um, thing I've made um, but I'm going to repaint it anyway but obviously normally they would come in this like sort of beige plastic colour you get them in little bags from the um, pan shop, I think it's about five or six in a bag. <clears throat> so I've cut the back off and I'm deciding on the position. And then what I need, what you need to do is put plenty of uh, gl hot glue on the back. Uh, super glue will do the job. Um, hot glue is just easier to work with than super glue. Um, and then I'm gonna make sure I put plenty of that around all these edges. And this doesn't look like a lot of glue, but it's plenty to hold this because this, this skull's really, really lightweight. And then I'm just going to stick that in the position that I want. Like so. And I've positioned it so that the jaws open slightly as well. Because I want it to be like a little, like a mini screaming skull. And then I'm just tidying up any glue that's oozing out the sides um, while it's still um, not set. And then the next thing to do is paint the skull um, and paint it black, which you'll see me do in a second. So you want to paint the whole thing black. Um, I'm just using um, acrylic paint. Now obviously I'm recycling this from another project, but if you're just using the skull and it's that beige colour, it'll take two coats of acrylic paint to cover all the beige without any leaving any streaks behind. But obviously because I've painted this black previously and put a bit of silver gilding wax over the top, um, it, it just needs one coat. So make sure you get in all the little nooks and crannies, make sure you get under all the edges of the jaw. Because this is going to be on the wall, if you leave one little bit, you're going to notice it as you walk past, um, which is quite annoying. So make sure you've got every little nook and cranny, every, every little crease and crack in it. Like so. And just make sure it's a nice solid black colour because that's the best colour base to work from when using the uh, gilding wax stuff to add the colour later on. You need a good solid black background to make it really pop. So I'm making sure I get underneath that jaw. And to dry this quickly as well, you can use a hairdryer or a um, low power heat gun, which is what I used, um, just to dry it off nice and quickly. Um, I'd also got some scuffs on the frame because again the frame's recycled as well so I'm just touching up the frame as well 
and because it's already black um, it was just one little coat of paint to touch that up as well which is good and then what you need to do is use a hairdryer to dry it off quick or you can just leave it to dry when it's dry the paint will go matte um, so what I'm going to do now is take this gold luster wax which is like a gilding wax stuff now normally it's a bit more it's a bit wetter than that but mine's an old one so it's a bit dried out um, take a cloth and just put a little bit on I'm just using um, kitchen roll and then what you need to do is just gently wipe that over the surface you don't want to press too hard because you only want the uh, gilding wax on the uppermost edges because the gilding wax is going to show all that detail um, it's going to show all the detail of the skull and any textures on the surface and also show up the teeth as well and it's best to apply it a little bit at a time you can use your finger as well which I did switch to because mine's dried out a little bit um, if it's fresh like a new pot of gilding wax it's quite squishy and you literally just put a tiny little bit on and it'll go a long way um, and if yours has started to dry out like mine just put a little bit of water in it and mix it up it'll reconstitute it back to its normal texture so in the end I started using my finger as you can see now I do get like little crumbs and stuff come off this because mine's a drier one um, you shouldn't get that so much with one that's not dried out and just rub it all over if you get any patches like I've got on the forehead where you've got like a solid blob of the colour you can just paint over it again in black acrylic paint and then reapply the gilding wax um, and like you'll see me alter the as you look at it the left cheek bone's got a bit too much gilding wax on um, so I scraped a little bit with my finger and then just touched it up with a little dab of uh, black acrylic paint over the top just to dull that down a little bit and then later on added a little bit more of the gold where I actually wanted it to be and just apply as much of that as you want um, to make all those details pop but make sure there's still the black in the recesses so that those details really show up otherwise it'll look like a black blob on a wall um, and once it's done it looks like this Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.